Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'm very proud to be hosting The Developer Show this week. Let's skip the song and dance number and jump straight to the show. First up, ha, huh, the TLDR. Go beyond just JavaScript APIs, frameworks, and the mysteries of CSS to also learn the tooling that can mean the difference between an average web developer and a super productive web developer. Check out the recently launched web tooling and automation course on Udacity to learn about setting up your editor, creating powerful build scripts, live editing, linting, and all other sorts of awesome optimizations. It's now a lot easier to retrieve data about an authenticated user's connections from their contacts by using the new People API. And it's time to update to HTTP 2, as Chrome will no longer support Speedy starting on May 15th, which is the anniversary of the HTTP 2 RFC. Starting in version 49, Chrome for Android will surface physical web content, helping an even larger audience discover URLs relevant to their surroundings via Eddystone Bluetooth low energy beacons. Now is the time to check out the physical web and what it can do for your users. Use Google to rapidly build back-end services for your mobile app that scale automatically to meet demand, automatically synchronize data across devices, handle the offline case gracefully, and send notifications and messages. Learn how HydroCoach rapidly reached 22 new markets in this new blog post on monetization tips straight from successful app developers. It's a great companion to the no-nonsense guide to app monetization we recently mentioned on this show. Make more money from your app with in-app payments. This video on the zen of monetization with Edo Green shows you how. Need an awesome functional UI testing framework for iOS? Well, we just open sourced the one that we use for YouTube, Google Calendar, Google Photos, Google Translate, and Google Play Music. Check out the blog post for more details and the GitHub link. The Google Summer of Code is a global program focused on bringing more student developers into open source software development. Students work with a mentor open source organization on a three-month programming project during their break from university. If you'd like to be a mentor organization, follow the link and submit an application. If you're a university researcher working on the Internet of Things, we invite you to participate in this Technology Research Award pilot. It provides selected researchers with in-kind gifts of Google IoT-related technologies with the goal of fostering collaboration on small-scale experiments and discovering what you can do with our software and devices. As usual, the linked blog post has a lot more detail. And that's your TLDR. Let's see what's next on the show. Oh, I get to go find Lawrence Maroney on the set of Coffee with the Googler. Hi, I'm Lawrence Maroney, and I'm here with Timothy Jordan on this next episode of Coffee with a Googler. Hi, Timothy. It doesn't feel quite right, yeah. does it? Yeah, throw the script away. <laughs> so uh, this is where the magic happens, although not always just in this place. You were saying that uh, you film throughout the campus because you yep. really want to give a peek into the Googleplex, not exactly. just an interview with the Googlers. Exactly. So it's like, you know, it's a, Google is a living, breathing entity, it seems, sometimes. We've got great people <laughs> here. We've got a fabulous campus that we get to work on. And, you know, that's, let's just have a peek inside of life every day in Google while having a 10-minute chat with a Googler over coffee. So you've interviewed a lot of amazing Googlers on the show. Yes, I have. Who have you not interviewed yet? that you want to take this opportunity to invite oh, on the show. Yeah. Who's like, would be the, maybe give me the top three. That's your right. crowning achievements. Well, I've already Coffee interviewed you, so. Um, <laughs> yeah, leave me off yeah. the list. I mean, seriously, I would actually really love to interview Larry Page. Yes. So I would love Larry to come on yeah. the show. So when we could do it in Seattle. And it Remember that Google I.O. where like he just came up and like he yeah. talked about like the things that were on his mind and then he took questions. You know, that, that was, was amazing. That's what made me want to join Google. I worked for one of our competitors at the time, and I was invited to Google I.O. Extended. And I watched the keynote, and I watched Larry take the mic and like talk as he did. But then the more he talked, the more awesome it became. It was amazing. And Twitter fell silent, and then Twitter just went, this guy's awesome. It was like the most earnest conversation with a CEO yeah. that I th in the tech industry that I think I've ever seen. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I watched that, and I said, I want to join this company. And here I am. And here you are. OK, that's, that's your number so one. Larry's number one. So number two, oh, um, I think Vint Cerf. I'd love to have Vint on. So Vint once uh, keynoted at a conference in Korea that I was a speaker at. So I got to share a stage with him yes. for about five minutes. He's amazing. And, he, and yeah. he's incredible. And the work that he has done and he continues to do mm -hmm. is really, it's because of that that we can do what we do today. 
Yeah. Right? And I would love to have Vint. And Vint actually made a comment about a previous show that he really loved the format. The third one, I'm going to leave to the viewers instead oh. of picking it myself. So wow. if there's, you know, we, we actually did a thing before where we asked viewers like to say, who would you like to have us to interview? And two names came up. One of them was Larry and the other one was Colt McCandless. <laughs> <laughs> you and you, you got Colt? We got Colt, yes. yeah, yeah, and and Colt was being cold. He kind of we swapped seats As in he the does. show, and we changed shirts in the show, and we just goofed around. It was a whole <laughs> lot of fun. So thanks for suggesting him, folks. But we'd love you to suggest other Googlers that you'd love to hear from, or other technologies. You may not know the Googler behind it, but if you're interested in a Google technology, we'll find the Googler behind it, and we'll we'll, we'll chat with them over coffee. There's it's a okay. huge playlist talking with lots of Googlers yep. on Coffee with a Googler on the uh, Google Developers YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Don't miss a single episode. Yep. And and you've got uh, five new episodes coming out. In fact, yeah. I think by the time this airs, two will already be two out. Two of them will already be out. Coming. So yeah, we, we shot some today on identity. So we had a couple of episodes on the Google identity platform, including things like smart lock for passwords. Yeah. I love identity and I love identity technologies. So as a developer, you know, good identity APIs possibly have the biggest impact of any API mm -hmm. because the amount of work that developers have to do to build good identity can be crazy. So if someone like Google can provide good identity APIs, and we do, it really makes developers' lives a lot easier. So I'm a, I'm a real geek for that stuff. So we had a couple of episodes of that. We had an awesome episode um, on Google Now on Tap. If mm -hmm. you're not familiar with it, watch the episode. It's really cool. And the PM of that, and her name is actually Paige Rankin, <laughs> which, I mean, she's, she it's was perfect. born to work for Google. And yeah. she was a fabulous guest, and she did some great demos. And, you know, we, I learned a lot about Google Now on Tap. And particularly as a developer, if you want to take advantage of this technology, how easy it is for you to do so in your apps. Very cool. Lots of great episodes. More on the way. Thank you, Lawrence. Thank you, Timothy. And that's it for our show today. Please remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single episode of Coffee with the Googler or The Developer Show. I'd like to thank my producers, my parents, my lovely girlfriend, and of course you, our fans. Without you, none of this would be possible. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week.